Shalom. This is the brother Daniela coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. And uh, this is going to be a quick video, um, an impromptu, you know, meaning it's off the top of the head, you know, nothing really planned. Just uh, going off of the, you know, prayer in the Holy Spirit, you know, um, before I, uh, uh, you know, do this uh, job over here. So, you know, uh, I guess it's going to be sort of like a continuation in uh, Revelation, the 21st chapter from my previous video. And um, we just go, we're just going to go from there, you know. And, you know, Spirit will provide uh, more precepts. Uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse uh, 1. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So that new heaven and that new earth, it, it ultimately, it, it, it represents, uh, uh, you know, new uh, rulership, all right, a uh, new... Uh, management upon the earth man right the the actual earth the the word new there is is kinos for the new earth is going to be an actual new um an actual new uh not an actual new but the earth is going to be refreshed the word there in the greek is is kinos which means refresh so the lord is going to restore the earth refresh it and restore it back unto its health okay and a hey, heaven uh heaven represents rulership right heaven also represents being in a state of uh bliss or a state of peace so currently the devil he is in his heaven he's in a state of peace he's in a state of rulership right he he's at the top right now right so a hey, the, the current age right now these devil are in the, these devils are in their heaven right but now soon Hey, the Israelites are going to be in their heaven, man. Right? The Israelites are going to be in their state of peace, right? In the state of rulership, right? With a refreshed earth, an earth that is bearing forth and bringing forth her fullness. It says, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. Right? That New Jerusalem represents what? The elect. All right? That are, uh, that were glorified. Okay, they were taken up into the chariots. All right, New Jerusalem coming down from the Most High out of heaven, right? So they're going to be coming down out of the chariots. It says, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, right? So they're going to be coming down out of the chariots, right? But in a, a, uh, in those new immortal bodies, right? They're going to be coming down as, as gods, man. Right, they're going to have that. Uh, angelic or well, heavenly glory, man. Um, let's let's get this right here. Bear the image of the heavenly. Okay. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I thought it would be in here, right? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we'll start at um verse 47. It says, The first man is of the earth, earthy. That's what you call terrestrial, right? We are earth. We're in uh, earthen vessels right now as we speak. We are in, you know, in a vessel, something that can hold, uh, that can, that is able to hold something, right? Right? You got waters that are able, uh, vessels that are able to hold water, 
right? You got bottles, those are vessels. Uh, back in the day, they had what? Clay vessels, earthen vessels, uh, um, gold vessels, golden chalices, golden cups, golden, you know, containers, wooden vessels, right? It's, it's something that's able to hold something, right? So these earthen vessels that we have, they're able to house our spirit, okay? But also, also the Holy Spirit, man, which we're, we're able to receive the that that uh, knowledge in these earthen vessels, man, right? In these uh, corruptible vessels, right? It says this... Um, Yeah, 46. Yep, it says um it says the second the second man is the Lord from heaven, right? So the Lord Yahweh Shai, hey man, he's gonna be coming uh from the heavens and he's gonna have what? A, a heavenly uh glory, man. He's gonna be coming back with a heavenly angelic uh, power man it says um as is the earthy such are they that are earthy as is the heavenly such are they that are heavenly and as we have borne the image of the earthly so right now we're bearing the image of the earthly man the likeness of of uh of these earthly vessels right you know we're, we're bearing this image now Right, hey, and in these earthen vessels, what you have imperfections, right? You you have uh, you can have scars from injuries. You can have uh, you know uh, you can suffer baldness. You can have uh, gray hairs. You know all these different um, uh, uh, things that are uh, a part of these earthly bodies, right? But the Lord's gonna give us uh, an extraterrestrial body, so to speak, right? It says, um, and the word image means likeness, right? It says, as the, as, uh, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly, right? So Paul is explaining something here, man. So new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven, that's them bearing what? The image of the heavenly. Right, as a bride adorned for her husband, they're gonna be a uh, 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 glorified man. You know, when a, when a bride is adorned for her husband, she's decked out in fine jewels and gold, and she got the best clothes, and you know she might, you know, in ten days, so she might have a train that somebody has to walk behind and hold up as she comes down. The aisle. I'm, I'm I'm explaining how they do it in the in in you know. Uh, this day and these traditions here in america but um right but she she's decked with all kinds of jewels and you know uh um you know that basically in increases uh, uh her 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 beauty or glory let's say and it, it embellishes it right well same thing with the uh with the elect man they're gonna come down perfect man with with a heavenly glory man glowing right like it's, it's gonna look like gods have came down upon the earth, man. Right? They're gonna have that heavenly glory, like like our Lord what? Yeah, like our Lord Yahushai, man. And we'll get there too. That's in um. There's a couple of precepts that come to mind. Um. Right. It says, "Uh, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly." Now this I say, brethren: flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. The current flesh and blood that we have right now cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. How can something that is imperfect and corruptible inherit something that is an imperfect, corruptible, mortal, inherit something that is immortal, perfect, and incorruptible? Mortal means what? You can die. So how can you have a how can you inherit a forever kingdom if you don't live forever? Right? How can you inherit an immortal kingdom if you're mortal? You can't. Right? It says, um, 
cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. We are incorruptible bodies. When you read up further, it talks about the celestial body, the body we have in the heavens, and the bodies we have on the earth, right? It said that this is going to be a different type of body, right? It's not going to be a celestial one because we know what? Uh, men and women uh, in the heavens, they don't have sex. But it talks about that in the kingdom, our wives shall be as a fruitful bowl hanging over the wall, having meaning having many children, right? A little man shall become, uh, one man shall become a thousand and a little one a strong nation, right? Meaning he's going to have, he's going to bring forth many sons and daughters, right? Thousands upon thousands and thousands of sons and daughters, right? So how is that going to happen when a celestial body doesn't have sex? Okay, that only happens in a terrestrial body. But hold on. Paul says what? We're going to be changed. So this is going to be a different type of body right here. It's going to be terrestrial, but it's going to have it's going to have a, a heavenly twist on it, let's say. Right. It's going to be perfect. Okay. There's going to be a complete uh, a spiritual a terrestrial, a complete spiritual terrestrial body, right? Because we'll still be able to have sex and bring forth children, right? We'll still be able to do the different earthly th and eat, right? And do, do, do different things on the earth, man, right? But it's going to have that spiritual power in the, the laws, tests, commandments, commandments downloaded into it. That's going to be a part of what? That uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31, the new covenant, the new Salakia. The new covenant, right? So uh, let's read this. It says, Behold, behold, I shew you a mystery, right? I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We're not all going to die. When this time comes, we are not, uh, when Jacob trouble comes, we're not going to all die, man. We shall not all sleep. And the Lord Yahweh Shai talked about this, right? And see, look, this is how you know Paul. Learn from the Lord. Right? Because that's coming from what? The Lord said what to his uh to his disciples? That there there be they that are born that shall not taste uh that shall not taste death. Right? So from 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 the time they were born, they're gonna go right into immortality. They're gonna go right into living forever. And they shall not taste death. And we know this son is going to be martyrs, right? So Paul is going off of what the Lord told him, taught him, Salakia. We shall not all sleep, right? It says, um, but we shall all be changed. We're all going to be changed, man. Right? Even those, even those that will be sleep, they're going to be, they're going to meet the Lord first. They're going to be changed first. And now I'll get that precept, you know? Right, we shall all be trained in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, right, in a split second. At the last trump, when what's the last trump? When those nuclear missiles are about to touch down here on America, and decimate it, disintegrate it, turn it into a desert, uh, level this whole place and everything, everything in it. All the elements, all the, the cars and the people, the people, right? The different monuments, the idols, everything is going to be melted and leveled out. It's going to be turned into a desert. When that time comes and the chariots are in the atmosphere, because the chariots are going to be here before that happens, right? The electric is going to be beam, getting beamed up and changed in a split second, man. In a twinkling of an eye and at the last trump, man, they're going to be changed. Right, so a lot of hey, this, this this stuff is gonna be happening quick, man. Because the Lord said what? He's gonna destroy this place in one hour. It says, For the trump shall sound, and the dead, see look, just what it just that's the spirit, and the and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. So those who are dead, who are martyrs, they're gonna be raised incorruptible. Right? And we shall be changed. Right? So they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna receive that. Uh, translation that changing first what they say uh, uh, another word you could say a mutation 
right? The mutants. <laughs> the word mutate just means to change, right? Right? The mutation, right? <laughs> and that's that's what X-Men was all about. Is it's really about Jake. Um it says for this corruptible must put on incorruption, right? And this mortal must put on immortality. So this corruptible shall have put on so when this corruptible have, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on put on um, immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying which is written, "Death is swallowed up in victory." Right. So the Lord is is going to give us victory over death, just like he he received victory over death, man. Right. The grave, that grave couldn't hold him. He got back up, right? Right? And and, and he he uh, uh, entered uh, uh, back into immortality at the status that he had with the father in the beginning. Right? It says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? So this is going into immortality. So those new Jerusalem coming down, coming out of the chariots, that is... Uh, the elect of Israel who have received those new bodies and who have received the immortality, right? And this this right here is um, man, this is basic. This is basic info, man. This is basic information that we've learned through our apostles and elders, and uh, through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that opened our minds up to receive this knowledge. This is basic stuff. But to to uh to a Christian or, you know. This this will go over their head, right? They 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 think they're gonna be, they they think they're gonna be raptured, and they're just gonna stay in the heavens, floating around somewhere. But we talk, it, it, they don't even understand New Jerusalem coming down the head. They think that's an actual, oh yeah, that's an actual city with buildings and gold and this and that is coming down out of the heavens. No, right? It represents the people. The people make up the city. All right, Yerushalayim, Jerusalem means what? A city of peace, right? The people make up the city, okay? So, um, going back to Revelations, what is that? Uh, I was trying to make this uh, quick, but Revelations chapter... Twenty-one. For, okay, right as uh, verse three it says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men." Right, and this, this is that's that's going to be that tabernacle of David that's built back up. It's being built back up before your eyes, as it was in in the days of old. Right, during the time of King David, all the tribes were together. Right, during the time of King David. Uh, all the nations were brought into subjection unto Israel, right? It says, uh, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. So that's that's that ad adoption, man. The Lord is going to have us adopted to be sons. It starts with the men, right? But there's going to be women in there too, sons and daughters of the most high the people of the most high once again right we're going to be uh, uh owned so to speak right instead of disowned right uh like what we would call it what uh, uh no people like i i'm ya not my people right but then it talks about what um uh uh, uh what is it uh uh jeshron when you going to um what's that hat is that hat guy the uh or Hosea the first chapter you know and Lord will I, I'll go back into that that chapter and break that down too right but um so continuing on it says the most sh the most high shall wipe away all tears anything that could make you sad in this life that could make you cry that can just ruin your day Right? Because there's a lot of shit that will ruin your day, man. Right? We, but we keep pushing on, right? All the different 
what makes you cry? Let's say it like this. Pain makes you cry, right? Pain, right? The, the, what they call it disparities, right? Pain makes you cry. So anything that causes you pain, whether physically or mentally, right? Or spiritually, the Lord's going to wipe all that stuff away, man. We'll no longer experience pain, right? We'll no longer be in mourning. It says, um, I sound like a falcon. It says, um, and there shall be no more death, right? There's the immortality, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. There you go. For the former things are passed away. And he, and he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. Ooh, new Jerusalem, new earth, there's a new rulership, new management, right? New dwelling places, okay? He makes all things new. He's going to, he refresh everything, right? So in that time, Lord, will we be of the elect? Receiving those new bodies, there's going to be nothing to cry about anymore, man. Right? It, it, you know, everything will be... Uh, um, this would be like waking up from a bad nightmare. Right? This would be like waking up from a bad nightmare. Right? That lasted for <laughs> a lifetime. <laughs> right? It's the, or, or lifetimes, multiple, right? It says... um. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are, oh, write, for these words are true and faithful. Right? These words are true and faithful. I'll read that again. These words are true and faithful. Right? So, New Jerusalem, the wiping away of all tears. The receiving of immortality, the taking away of the pain, being changed, right? This is prophecy. And, and that is going to come after the destruction, right? Or let's say simultaneously as America is being destroyed, right? As America is being destroyed, this is what's going to come, man. Israel, the sons and the daughters of the Most High. The elect of Israel being glorified. So with that, say call all Yah Bashim Yashab Bashim Kakwadash. You know, shalom to you know the elders and the pastor of Great Millstone. You know, double honors to them, and shalom to you, hopeful elect. Shalom.